Jimmy Dore, um, one of these people who has jumped on the Sanj bandwagon, kind of, in this kind of backwards way, is Chuck Todd. Now, Chuck Todd is not doing this. I've often said Chuck Todd is the most oblivious man on the planet. Um, because I think he is. And this is, and he epitomizes everything that's wrong with mainstream media. I don't understand why Chuck Todd is considered a journalist. I consider him a talking head. That's all I consider Chuck Todd. Mm -hmm. But Chuck Todd, as a talking head, has found this strength within himself to proclaim who is and who is not a journalist. As if he is a journalist that can make these determinations. I, I find this to be amazing. Take a look at this video. Dora talked about this, and I couldn't find this video in the time frame allotted. So. I like that polka dot shirt. I like that. No, I don't like that polka dot shirt. Oh, okay. Don't get. Don't give me one of those. That's. I'm not getting you a that's polka dot shirt. That's grotesque. It puts me in mind of. Um, do you remember the Galaxy game where you're shooting those things out of the sky? That's what it looks like, right? I mean, that's what those look. It's like each one of those little things look like those little goblins <laughs> that are flying from the sky. About. Yeah, the it, yes, the spaceships. Goblins. Okay. Right? You can't unsee it now, can you? Um, I feel you. But, um... <laughs> you can't unsee it. It's there in your mind, the splinter in your mind. All right, let's take a look at this. Not a journalist. So why? You accept that Assange is a journalist when it ruled that both the New York Times and I'm seeing on Thursday, the federal government. Dumbest guy. I mean, it's not a dumbest guy. William Hurton brought. With reading between the lines, and I have a serious problem with what I'm seeing. On Thursday, the federal government indicted WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange on 17 counts of violating the Espionage Act. And among them, he's accused of, quote, disseminating classified materials. Hmm, disseminating classified materials. The DOJ clearly believes that's espionage. But in this case, it's not. It's journalism. And you know... What? He got it right? The DOJ says that espionage... Pentagon Papers. And wow, so I'm like, oh my God, there must be about Julian is the one. This is where what's between the lines gets really ugly because this indictment seems to put journalism itself in the crosshairs and it looks like it's been done on purpose. Because if we accept that Assange is a journalist, then this indictment becomes a full frontal assault on the First Amendment and we as journalists have no choice but to defend him on those counts in order to defend ourselves and our institution. But Julian Assange is a hacker, not a journalist. Wait a minute. How does Chuck Todd get to make that proclamation? Think about what, you, what Chuck Todd just said. Chuck Todd literally just said, Julian Assange has gotten this information and published this stuff. The DOJ is going after Assange for his publishing capacities, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And he said, but he's not a journalist he's a hacker how do you know i mean he hasn't they've shown him hacking nothing the only thing they've ever shown assange doing was publishing information and T todd himself says what they're getting him for is exactly what we do as journalists right it's what publications but he's, a hacker. but he's a hacker not a journalist i haven't had one trial i haven't had you know none of that stuff but somebody he's a hacker chuck chuck todd would not be able to substantiate that at all one iota but he out there screams it. Why? Why does he scream that so? Why does he assert that so? Why? Like the, it, Everything that we know of WikiLeaks, Assange has just published information that he was given. If he tried to push people to give him information, it's like if you knew somebody had access to Trump's tax returns, you say, hey, why don't you publish them with me first? Well, why wouldn't you do that? You're a journalist. Your goal is to get that information out and publish it. And WikiLeaks' job is literally shining daylight on the stuff that's in the shadows. What the hell is the most oblivious man in the world saying? I mean, he literally just said the capacity that he's been doing is essentially journalism. But and in the very next sentence, he's not a journalist. He's a hacker. It's like his brain can't resolve the two. He's like, oh, God, Hillary elected bastard. But he's I was going to say, after well, me. why does he have? It seems like he he has to hit him. He has to. It's like he can't. He can't, he can't. It's like, I it. think that everything that's being wrong to him is done. I think that he should be allowed to do what he's doing. But, you know, he's not really, he's not really a journalist. He's a hacker. Well, it's not even that. I mean, because if you call him a hacker, then you're okay with him going after him for charges of hacking. Hmm. So for them, the first charge was okay. When the government was going after him for hacking, so, well, well, you know, we don't care, whatever. Then they added the publishing stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's us. 
That's us. That's me. That's me. That's me. My coffee is so hot. The suit's so warm. You're going after me. But he's just a hacker, so it's not you. Well, that's his delineation in his mind. So what does Jimmy Dore say? Let's see. Oh, of course, Jimmy Dore is, is going to be... Saying what you're saying? Yes. Fuck, fuck is Chuck Todd talking about? Fuck is Chuck Todd talking so about? You're the hack, oh, Chuck. No, no, so Chuck. Close. So that's a hack. <laughs> you're a hack, Chuck. Julian Assange is a journalist. That's why he wins awards, and that's why you get a paycheck from the military industrial complex. Ooh, burn. Do you see the difference? That is a burn, and that is absolutely, unfortunately, true. One guy gets a paycheck, the other guy's sitting. Like, you know, if you had to look at the scene between the two things. One guy is being persecuted for releasing factually true information and is being chased to the ends of the earth, literally, because he's releasing that true information. If the guy they're going after, is they're going after him because he's putting true information out. And you're like, whoa, what does that make you? Like, nobody ever really engages that point. So if what he's heck? putting out is true information and you're going after him for it, what does that make the people who are going after him for it? It's like this body of lies that we need to maintain and you're hurting our ability to kind of lie to the public and all. That's a gross yeah. notion. That's a really gross notion. And yeah, Chuck Todd is a hack. Like I said, the most oblivious man on the planet. I can't believe, like, I don't know their, I don't fully get their animosity towards him. But when you look at the scene, one guy is being chased for principle. And the other guy's collecting a paycheck, shitting on the guy who's being held up. You know, mm -hmm. being chased to the ends of the earth. If you look at the two, one guy's resisting power. It's fighting power. It's shedding the light on these dark corners in, in regards to power. The other guy is the, the people on Hunger Games, the shiny person on Hunger Games getting a paycheck. That's who Chuck Todd is. I, I, am I wrong? He's just like glistened up in a way, but he's halfway glistened. He's definitely not glistening. But he's not glistening, but he's halfway glistening. He's the guy on Hunger Games. He's that announcer who's like, yes, let's bring her down. You two have this love affair. And, you know, he's uh, that guy. Yeah. He's that guy. He's whatever power wants him to be. He's a shapeable factor. If we were attacked by the Nazis, Chuck Todd would be the guy working at the Vichy government, helping the Nazis with propaganda campaigns. I'm telling you, he's, he's just a paid hat. I'm just saying, when, like, there is something wrong with this notion that one guy is standing on principle and the other guy gets to shit on the guy who's standing on principle and gets to even go so far as to try to define what he is when in all testament to the otherwise. He's a journalist, clearly. It's what he's doing. So, so yeah. As for Action for Assange, yeah, Action for Assange, it helps his morale. It helps his morale. From a standpoint of trying to get something done in a governmental sense of giving him to let him go, that looks like something that's going to have to take place in Europe. Yes, here in the States, too, from the standpoint of support, but that sounds like a European thing. Yeah. They're going to be fighting extradition for the next two years. I'm curious, um, Andrew, I know he's going to watch this eventually, even if he's not now. Um, he was sending some messages. It looks like he's actually trying to do something on his own. Do so it. I'm curious if yeah. he has like suggestions. You know what I mean? Like if he has something, just let me know. I will publicize it. Outside of just the yeah. usual protest kind of thing. Yeah, I would totally publicize it if he has something for it. Um, I find this to be a big deal, man. And it seems like the only time it's a big deal for the press is when their heads are on the chopping block for it. Because up to that point, it didn't seem like they cared all that much. Mm -mm. They're like, oh, Assange, whatever. Yeah, but now you see them talking about it everywhere because, again, this is going after them.